on the return, it's a really good shot to have in your bag because you can get that team. You are in a defensive position. If you get that lob over that net player, boom, you got them running around, and now all of a sudden you guys are in the offensive position to win the point. So it's a good shot to practice. So he's going to be discussing everything that goes along with that. And on my court, we're going to do the, uh, I'm going to be hitting second serves to you, and then you're going to attack on the second serve. You know, so they're going to be a softer second serve that rather than you guys sit, sitting back and then waiting for me to move up to the net, you guys are going to hit that second serve and move on in and put us on the defensive. All right, Nancy, here we go. Remember, this is a second serve I'm serving. All right, I'm going to cross the court. Hit that ball cross court, treat like an approach shot like we just got done working on. And there we go. So as I see the ball, I actually run past it and around it so I got some room to hit my swing. So that's the first main point. The other main point is a lot of people have the tendency to watch that ball bounce and then go right up underneath it and hit this shot. When you're swinging from up here, you really can't put much on it and it's a tough shot to control. So we want to let the ball bounce and come on down and then you can hit your nice lob. Okay, now, more often than not, your better shot is a cross-court lob because you got a lot more space, more diagonally as opposed to straight ahead, okay? So one more time, I run around the ball, I let it drop, and then I hit my cross-court lob. So when you come up to this court, here's how it's gonna look, guys. You're here, and you're gonna hit yourself a volley, and then all of a sudden you can see the lob, you run around it, let the ball drop, hit the cross court lob. I'm trying to hit it over the throw's head, and then I move on to this court to do the same thing. particular drill we're going to work on catching that ball out of the air instead of letting it bounce okay so two things happen with that you 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 stay on the offensive for example let's do one as we've been playing the lob switch drill Carol throws a lob okay I spin in Carol throws a lob over my head Nancy lets it bounce and there we go see they're able to get in position to play the shot okay so now I'm going to have Nancy back over here. Instead of letting the ball bounce, I'm going to move it in a second. So I'm going to close into the net. Carolyn's going to lob the ball over my head. Nancy's going to cut this ball off in air so she can stay up in the net rather than bounce and go all the way back to the curve. Okay, so here come. I close in. The ball goes over my head. She stays up here. Now we don't give up the position. Do you see that? Okay, now one of the more important things here is if you're this person who gets lobbed, you do not want to, when you close in here, you do not want to go straight across the net here because that ball is going fairly quick that you might get hit. So you want to get back and give yourself some space to play the shot. Okay, so here's my, here's what I do. I close in, the ball goes over my head. I actually move back. Now I'm able to play the shot a little bit better than being so close to the net. Okay, so that's what we're going to try to work on is trying to get that ball rather than letting the ball go up and just being calm and letting it bounce and you're scrambling to the bat, to the cart tarp, you're going to try to sprint to that ball, cut it out of the air, and stay up at the net. Okay? So does that sound good? Okay, yeah. so... If you're, if you're lucky, then... I mean, you 
Yes. What happened? We're going to do it on both. If your question was, yeah, if you can get that ball in the air, you can take that ball as an overhead, okay? It's like, am I here for a reason? Yeah. <laughs> this is not your ready position to play. Numbers, okay? <laughs> All right. Okay. So, but yeah. It's just like a whatever you can do with it. Nancy was saying, if you can get that ball out of the air and above your head, you can put an overhead shot on that, okay? But a lot of times, the team will lob you to where this person's more or less more playing a backhand. And then that's more that's one of those high volley shots, oh, okay. which is tougher, okay? So the idea is just to get it out of the air. The idea, the focus is, guys, is rather here, we'll sw switch with Brooke, please. So Carolyn's back playing the ball. Nancy's going to close in at the, you know, close up to the net, close up to the net, because you're right there we're going to be. That's when she decides to lob, and that's when we switch and I attack the ball. Not let it bounce and end up back, okay? So when this scenario happens, it's when this person is close to the net and the opposing team decides to lob that person who closed in real close. Okay. Brooke's hitting the shot. Take this out of the air now. I don't want you thinking of it as So then you guys are in this position, the ball is right here. Lisa, what are you thinking? Thinking lob, yeah. So once you see that lob, guess what? You can take it in the air. Good. Win the point. Perfect. That comes if that person gets a good lob, you're in trouble. Right, Debbie? Go. Switch. You didn't know I wasn't doing it. Right. Let's practice this high backhand shot. Nice ball.